Hi, my name is Gus and I'm one of the new sales consultants over here at Martin Nissan over here in Skokie, Illinois. I just wanted to go over the 2013 Nissan Juke, the SV trim level, which actually has some really nice features to it. A couple of things that I just wanted to start off with were the styling of the vehicle. In the front over here, you can actually see that the, uh, the headlights on the vehicle are placed into the bumper. That actually brings up and revives the 1960s and 70s sports rally uh, vehicles that they used to have back then. Another thing too that a lot of people have noticed are the uh, turn signals over here in the front. The design behind that as well was, if you were to like put your arm there, you would actually see that it looks like a crocodile peering out of the water, which actually gives it a little more of a fierce look to it. Uh, aside from that, for, for safety purposes, uh, when you're in the driver's seat, you would actually still be able to see the turn signals in the front. So, being that it's a 1.6 liter, four-cylinder, uh, turbo-powered uh, engine, you would actually, uh, if, you're, if you're cruising along and you're zipping through, you would actually be able to see your uh, turn signals a lot better. Uh, for the people who are in the other lane, you actually do have some more safety features as well. You have your turn signal on the side here where they would be able to, to recognize you turning into different lanes. Uh, all of them do have a collapse uh, folding mirror here. And another thing too is the intelligent key that comes with the uh, SV trim and up to the SL, uh, which basically you never have to take it out of your pocket. You can press this once, it'll lock everything up for you. And then if you want to unlock everything, touch the two buttons. Uh, moving along here, again you can see with the design, uh, the, the actual door here, you can see that this is actually built in, and that's actually another styling uh, thing that they did because you can, from far away, you would actually see that this looks more like a, a motorcycle helmet at this point. Uh, moving along here, you can actually see the trunk space that it has, and since it's a smaller vehicle, you'll actually see how much headroom you get in the back here. Uh, in addition, you got 60-40 split seats, so you get some, some extra room once the seats are folded. And then a nice little handle here so you can actually reach the, uh, you know, without having to jump up to, to close your door. In the front here, you'll see that we have stadium style seats. Seats go at an angle. Uh, whoever's sitting in the back, you'll actually see that they get more leg room. And the way that the seat in the front is designed, you actually get a little, <clears throat> a little, a little more room than an average vehicle. And then lastly, on the inside here, uh, one of the nice features too, again with the styling, is the uh, center console. They actually uh, made that in, in regards to the, uh, to the motorcycle helmet look. This actually looks like a fuel, uh, fuel tank for, for a motorcycle. And aside from that, it also has uh, steer mounted controls, Bluetooth, cruise control. Um, and the nice thing about it too is the icon control that it has which basically means that you can change the settings of your driving. Uh, you can drive in an eco mode where you can save on gas. You could drive in normal mode where you get uh, efficiency and you also get performance. And then you can drive in sport mode which will actually give you uh, the 188 horsepower. Uh, you can actually go from zero to 60 in about seven seconds. And overall, it's just a really fascinating vehicle. And that pretty much wraps everything up about the Nissan Juke and hopefully you'll stop on into Martin Nissan and go for a test drive. <laughs>